Shooter 21, fixing to head down to Fort Myers for delivery. Uh, beautiful boat. We don't normally deliver, but we're behind on sc schedule on this one, so we promised to deliver it. Comes with, this one's got six rod holders. Uh, one in the front that points off at probably about 60 degrees. And then you have two more rod holders that are built in in the aft part. One that points 30 degrees back and one that points 100, uh, they're 90 degrees straight back. And so we've got um, nine compartments. Here is a one of us, which is our smaller bait well. Compartment number two. Here's the center in the back. And this is the batteries, storage batteries for the trolling motor. And then these are very easily to access to get out in case you have to charge them. Then you have your hardware compartment where you obviously you can see the fuel uh, filters and the uh, hydraulic pump. If you come around over here, you'll see the two bait well pumps that are down below, and of course the harness for the boat itself. And then this one here has a binami on it. Most of them come either with no top or a T-top, but this is the second one we've sold with a binami. And so some people like the binami, others don't. And this has got a super-sized seat where three people can sit on it. Normally they come with a cooler seat for two, or uh, a little bit slightly smaller leaning post, but this is a supersized leaning post. And then you've got your compartment here for just storage, etc. And then below you have your fuel tanks and extra batteries. And you have a fully opening seat right here, which is both sides are locked, the other side's locked as well. I'll come around and get that on the other side. But that gives you access to your batteries and additional storage here. You have rod compartments this one has room for four rods eight foot three long this is a storage compartment that you can actually lay down in I have laid in down and shut the door on me more than once just for fun you have a much larger uh, bait well or live well and you have your anchor locker and your ability to shut the anchor locker on the excess line store all your excess line in there and and shut it which we think is a really nice thing and then you've got your glide front front mount for the uh, trailer here so if you come in a little bit low or high it doesn't matter it picks it up and glides right into the exact right location that you want it which makes docking you're getting your boat back on the trailer a lot a lot easier this compartment here has rod for two much bigger rod holders or a rifle if you need to and again here's your storage compartment and you can see your batteries down in there and we use a, a see-through fuel tank the reason we use a see-through fuel tank is you never have to trust a gauge gauges in boats often break and if that's the case and you're out to sea and you think you've got fuel and you don't well that's different um, that could really ruin your day so this is for people who want to know exactly how much fuel you have this one has a Suzuki 140. Oh, what a beautiful engine. Um, with a four-blade stainless steel prop. Most of them go out the door with either a 115 uh, or a 140 or a 150. But those Suzukis are high-torque engines. Beautiful. You can barely hear them running. Just super quiet, super high-torque, good fuel economy. Great, 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 great engines, great boat.